Okay, so I'm going to make a spreadsheet to put in the results for a mini football league. So I'm going to have a list of teams here. Let's have uh, Argentina, Brazil, Denmark, and England. Now, each match is going to have a home score and a and an away score, so it's going to take up two cells. Uh, so for a score like 2-0. So I want the names of the teams at the top, but I want to be able to write each team name in a single cell. So what I'm going to do is merge two cells together. So that's format, cells, alignment, and merge cells. And then that's merged two cells into one, so that I can write the team name Argentina there. So I'm going to do that four times for four teams. Format, cells, alignment, merge. I could just copy and paste these merged cells, but I'll do it the long way. Uh, format, cells, Alignment merge, format cells, alignment merge, and then I've got four cells that take up eight spaces to write in the team names Brazil, Denmark, England. Um, I'm going to put some boxes around each match to identify it. So I'll just put a box around one and then I'll just sort of copy that to the whole spreadsheet. So Command C on my Mac, uh, Control C on a PC copies those two cells. And then if I just highlight the whole thing where I want that to be pasted, and then it's given me lots of cells like that with 2 nil results in. Okay, I'm just going to tidy it up a bit, so I'll center these numbers, highlight the whole um, block of results, and click to center everything, so it's a lot more easy to read. Um, I'd like it to be squarer, so I'll highlight a few rows so that I can make them bigger, so just stretch one out and it makes them all bigger, like that. And it's starting to get a bit easier to read. These team names along the top, I'd like them written sideways. So I'm going to go uh, Format, Cells, and then Orientation over here. And I can just move that up to 90 degrees and click OK. And then the team names are written sideways. You can barely see them because the cells are so um, short. So I'll stretch out the height, um, and then you can see those team names again, Argentina, Brazil, Denmark, England. It would make more sense if they were centered, so I'll highlight the whole thing and just center them like that. And then that's getting a lot more readable. I'm going to make the text in the whole thing bigger, so I'll highlight the whole thing and then just bump the font size up a bit. And then drag along the tops just to resize things so they look right. There we go. And that's getting better and better. I think these uh, cells are all a bit too wide now, so I'll just highlight the columns and just make them a bit narrower. Okay, that's looking good. Um, I don't really want too nearly in each of these, so I'll just delete those. Um, so I'll just delete one and then copy the deleted one over the whole spreadsheet. So we've got lots of blank boxes for results to go in. Um, I'm going to blank some of these out because teams aren't going to play themselves, so I'll just fill them in black. England aren't going to play England, Denmark aren't going to play Denmark, Brazil aren't going to play Brazil, and Argentina aren't going to play Argentina. 
I'd quite like to put just a little dotted line in the middle of each result to separate the home score from the away score. So I will highlight two cells where the result's going to be and then go format, cells and um, border. And I'm going to put a little dotted line. I'm going to make it different color, let's say red and put that just down the middle. So either click on the picture of the cells there or the little button for lines inside the area you've highlighted. So click OK. And then you can just about see a little red line separating the score route. I'm going to copy that cell across the whole thing so they all look like that. And maybe put a title in. So let's call it um, International League. I'll make the font bigger again until it fills the space. It's a bit too big. Um, I'll merge all of these cells together so that's all in one single cell. So format, cells, alignment, merge. OK, and center it so it looks nicer and um, maybe fill the cell in with a different color like that. Um, what else can I do with this? I think I will make the cells a bit higher just to make the whole thing look squarer. Um, and then I'm happy with that for the moment. So I'll just file, save as, and I'll call it leak table.